Yo, what's good guys? It's your boy Steven from Trip Gaming. Welcome back to another video of the greatest YouTube on the planet. Today, we're gonna be doing something new. I'm at International Fade King with my boy Simeon, Master Fader. Master Fader, he's a magician. He's gonna give me a sick fade, and I'll show you guys how it's done. So see you guys at the end of the fade. There you have it guys, I'm looking fresh, ready to go out tonight with the boys. You already know where you're gonna pull it tonight, you already know. Next on the list, we're gonna check out a top place. I'm getting stick to the game plan tatted right here. You already know, so see you guys when we get to the tattoo shop. Make sure to check out International Fade King, it's gonna be in the description below. We're gonna get paid to every two weeks, you already know. We went to the tat shop and we got a quote. We are getting stick to the game plan tatted on my bicep. Stick to the game plan, Getting the tattoo of it on my bicep. I'm getting it in the next few weeks sometime. I'll vlog the whole uh, the whole thing. It's gonna be lit. It's gonna be crazy. But for today's video, it is going to be a top five meta analysis of the new meta post YCS 200. All right. I got my notes. I did all my research, and this is not a biased list. This is not what I think is true. It's what the world thinks is true. All right. What the real top five decks of the meta is. Post YCS 200. So, uh, you know, without further ado, we're going to get right started on it. So, we're going to start with some honorable mentions. Honorable mentions. These don't crack the top five. Some scrubs might think they're top five, but they're not. But for the first mention of honorable mentions, we got three of them. So, we got Cyber Dragons, Brick Stars, Alter Geist. They don't, top, they don't crack the top five. In fact, I don't think Brick Stars belong even in the top 20. And if you look at the stats, look at the facts, guys. Like, Brickstars didn't do anything in the YCS. Not in Mexico, not uh, here, not in Europe. They didn't do uh, anything anywhere. People are finally realizing that Brickstars suck. They finally realized what the pen god told them from day one. Yeah, they didn't get touched on the ban list, but they still suck, all right? They were barely represented, especially the pure versions, barely represented. And the Sky Striker versions, they barely put a few cards in. It's like, you got to get super lucky for that to even do anything. Uh, deck sucks, Brick Stars suck, and you suck if you like that deck. Alright, so, Cyber Dragons. You guys, uh, Cyber Dragons are an incredibly underrated deck, alright? They do what Dracos and Altar guys do. They can still, they have six floodgates they main deck, uh, but the deck actually does stuff. They are way better than Brick Stars, and I think they destroy Sky Strikers in my opinion. And, uh, overall just a fantastic deck. In incredibly underrated. I almost made it hit number five. And then uh, Alter Guys also, they're a good deck, but they didn't crack my top five. Now, for the top five. Number five. Mech Knight Invoked. With any variant of it. Sure, you want to throw, throw some uh, Sky Striker cards in there, you want to throw some Brick Star cards in there, throw whatever you want in there. But the pure Mech Knight Invoked with a few random cards in there for a little engine. Because what Mech Knight Invoked is, the reason I like it, it's just uh, a bunch of mini one-card engines. So you could throw in four one card, four one card engines. You could throw in, you could play Mech Knight Invoked, Mech Knight Invoked Striker. That's in my opinion, like number five. Mech Knight Invoked Striker. You play some Striker cards in there, play some Invoke cards in there, play some Mech Knight cards in there, and boom, just like that, you can OTK guys. You can play Control. You can play however you want. You can still play ten hand traps. You can do so many things. You can even side into ten real traps if you want. The uh, the deck has lots of uh, versatility. It's a good deck. We put that at number five. All right. They had some play through the YCSs. But overall, I'll give it number five. Number four on the list, all right? Number four, this deck's been around since day one, hasn't got hit. It is still wreaking havoc and show, had a lot of play throughout the YCS, all through YCSs, and that is True Draco. True Draco is not dead. It is not dead. True Draco is a real deck, boys. It's a real deck. I've been saying this. I thought before, before YCS 200 started, I thought it was the second best deck, to be honest. Uh, but it, it, Dracos are an incredible deck. Uh, you can still main six to nine floodgates. You still plus like crazy. The, you can play the new pot card in any one when it comes out, even though I think Desires is right. And for those of you who are a little uh, confused here, 
It's the extra deck without an extra deck True Draco. The only reason I'd ever I'd ever play an extra deck in True Draco is just so they don't see that I'm playing Draco. It's like just so they don't know I'm playing Draco. So they don't first turn Dweller. But really the only deck that's playing doing first turn Dweller is Pendulum. I really deck can't even make a Dweller because they suck. And if it's Pendulum, I know that deck inside out anyway, so I don't even care. I do think that uh you should be playing true Draco. I don't think. I know. If you're playing Draco, play without an extra deck. Alright? That is a number four deck. I don't care what anyone says. That deck is still fire. It does some crazy damage. It does some work. It's a great deck. Number three. This really surprised me because I thought it would be uh, the best deck by a landslide. But after further review and further work and further uh, research, this deck is number three. And that is Goki. So, just like I said before, Pendulums take a Doki on the Goki. All right? Pendulums destroy Goki uh now not before not before not before but now all right so what i find with goki is you gotta be a great player to still put up a yuling you can't be try you can't be a bad player if you're a bad player which is 99 percent of people that play Yu-Gi-Oh, it'll be very tough for you to yuling unless you open broken even if you do yuling even if you do even if you do even if you do uh it's no problem uh you could simply uh, now that you can still can't be targeted, sk uh, how many decks play uh, Sky Striker? Like, not even the full Sky Striker, pure version. How many decks play just the uh, Sky Striker uh, with any variant Sky Striker? Like, 90% of decks right now in the meta. In Invoked play it. Mech Knights play it. Brick Stars play it. Pure plays it. And that's about, like, even Goki play could play it. Like, that's like a solid 80% of the meta, 90% of the meta. Activate one card, the the now everything can be targeted. So you just steal the middle card, the force is try gate, and then you probably negate that. Like, it's very easy to out the Goki board now. Uh, which is why Goki's seeing less play. That's why Goki's seeing less play. So because it's so easy to out the board now, you're not going to be seeing much Goki. And you know what? Yeah, I'll admit. All right? I said earlier in the video, Pen beat Goki. They don't. I was just joking. All right? Pendulum's worst matchup by landslide is Goki. If it's anything but Goki, Pendulum destroys Go destroys everything else. All right? I was like, Pen, Pen cannot uh, compete with Goki. It's a horrible matchup. But Go you're not seeing Goki anymore. You know what I mean? So you're not seeing Goki anymore. So the, the bad match, there is no bad matchup now because you're not facing Goki anymore. Goki is almost going to be irrelevant because Sky Striker deal with it so easy. Any deck that plays Sky Striker cards deals with it so easy. So because they could deal with it so easy, uh, there's no reason to uh, even worry about it much because not many people are going to be playing Goki, right? Shout out to the robe. This is the OG robe, all right, for the OGs. All right, no lot of stuff happened in this robe. Anyways. Goki is number three, and I didn't want to put it number two because it, it, the meta deals with it so easy. Maybe Pendulum's it. Maybe we have a tough matchup with Goki, but it's so easily dealt with that it is, uh, it smells good, man. I got my cologne on here. So anyways, it's so easily dealt with that it's not worth uh, stressing over Goki's number three. Uh, and now on to number two, the deck. That is so over, so played right now. Over 70% of decks in the meta have this engine. And 50% of the meta right now is, is this a pure version of it, Sky Striker. Look at the facts. Look at the numbers here. YCS Utrecht, uh, the European YCS 200. Half the players in the, to uh, the top play played Striker. Half the players that talked in uh, America, Columbus, played Striker. Same with Mexico. Strikers are everywhere. Sky Striker, the pure version. Do I care? No, it's trash. It's a garbage deck, just like every other deck that's not Pendulum. But you still have to pay some respect to it because Strikers, Sky Strikers deal with every other deck but Pendulum very easily. So, I guess it was number one, by the way. So we put Sky Striker number two. Now, uh, it's a great deck. It's, de it's not a great deck. It's a good deck. It deals with everything but Pendulum. Now to the best deck, the number one deck. Pendulum. Needless to say, Pendulums are by far the greatest deck in the world. They destroy Sky Striker. They destroy Brickstar. They destroy uh, literally everything. Literally everything but Goki. And if Draco goes first and we don't draw, if we draw a subpar hand. But we destroy them too. Alright? It's just Goki. Uh, but you're not going to be seeing much Goki, which is why Pendulum is the best deck to play right now. Because you're not going to be seeing much Goki anymore because Strikers deal with it so easy. You're only going to be seeing bad decks like Striker and Brickstar, which Pendulums obliterate a quick 2-0, Swift 2-0. Uh, Striker did win the YCS, which is why 
Uh, Strikers uh, won the YCS, uh, YCS, and the guy who won it actually beat me a a YCS uh, jersey in in Top 32. Uh, Anyways, I would have destroyed him if I had my rematch. So they're lucky I'm banned. That would have been a free W for the Pen God. uh, And would have been my first YCS win. With that being said, I tell all you guys now, play YC, uh, every YCS play Pendulums, because you're going to be facing Striker a lot, you're going to be facing Brickstar a lot, and it's a free win for everyone by playing Pendulums. So play Pendulums, have yourselves many free buys, you're going to get a buy uh, first match, second match, third match, fourth, every single match you play that's not Goki or the Mirror, it's a free buy for you. So why would you not want an attorney with 10 free buys, play Pendulum, that's the question, that's the answer, play Pendulum. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We're going to hit 12k subs by tomorrow. I know it. So see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to check out the description below. Peace.